In this ImageQuad TL version 10 tutorial video, we will be discussing the lane comparison analysis. Specifically, we will be looking at when the lane comparison analysis should be used. We will be providing an overview of the lane comparison features. We will go through specifics of how to perform the lane comparison analysis. And finally, we will be looking at how to export data from the lane comparison analysis. Lane comparison analysis allows the user to perform a quantitative advanced lane comparison. ImageQuant TL version 10 automatically generates pairwise similarity scores between all possible lane pairs within the gel. These similarity scores are displayed in the color-coded similarity table shown in the top right quadrant of the image here. And these scores can range from negative 1 to 1, with 1 being a score of two identical lanes, so the most similar. Lane comparison is most commonly used for these different types of samples. Complex samples such as cell lysates where visual comparison by eye can be difficult. Samples measuring a band shift such as mobility shift or DNA fragment analysis. Or finally, protein purification analysis such as comparing collected fractions from an ECTA chromatography system. Next, we will show the steps that are required to perform a lane comparison analysis. First, you want to import the image that you'd like to analyze, which can be done using the open button shown here. We can see that this image was generated on an IQ800 GXP instrument, which is used in a lab that requires 21 CFR Part 11 compliance. The ImageQuant TL version 10 software performs an integrity test and confirms the image was collected on an IQ800 GXP and that the image has not been manipulated. For the best results, we recommend running molecular weight ladders on both ends of the image and also, before analysis, properly rotating the gel so that identical bands in different lanes run completely horizontal. After the image has been rotated and imported into the software, we can perform lane creation, background subtraction, band detection, and molecular weight determination, very similar to how we would for any other gel or blot. Next, we can access the lane comparison step in the analysis workflow. We can see that similarity scores between all lanes within the gel have already been pre-populated. Along with this, we also have an image of the gel that's being analyzed. We also have the intensity profiles down here between any selected lanes where we can look at their intensity profiles and directly overlay and compare them. We have the similarity score table that was referenced earlier, as well as a scatter plot comparing all lanes to a user-defined reference lane. The plot compares similarity score on the x-axis and relative lane volume on the y-axis. Finally, on the right, we have a dendrogram, which groups all lanes according to their similarity scores. To perform similarity score analysis, the user must do the following steps. They must first define a reference lane from this pull-down menu here. You can choose any lane that you had defined earlier in the analysis. In this case, for this gel, we would choose lane 6. Next, we have to choose an alignment method. You can choose MW or molecular weight if you chose to use a molecular weight ladder in your analysis. And if you did not have a molecular weight ladder, you could choose auto RF. We recommend molecular weight for the most accurate and quantitative analysis. From here, you can choose any lanes that you would like to compare their relative profiles to by selecting that node in the dendrogram. For example, all four of these on top, we can click here and we have all four of their profiles shown here in the bottom right. In order to perform a lane comparison analysis, the user must perform the following steps. First, they must define their reference lane, which you can use this pull-down menu to select any lane that we defined earlier in the analysis. In this case, we'll choose lane six as our reference lane. Next, we must determine what type of alignment we would like to do. If you have a molecular weight ladder in your gel, go ahead and select MW. If you don't have a molecular weight ladder, you could choose Auto RF. Finally, if you want to compare different intensity profiles in the intensity profile comparison tool down here, we can choose any node within the dendrogram. For example, if you wanted to compare all four of the lanes up here on top, we could select this and all four of those intensity profiles are directly overlaid for direct comparison here. Finally, if the user would like to save any of the figures that have been generated in this analysis, they can go ahead and right click on them, for example, the dendrogram, and you can choose to either copy it to the clipboard or you can save it as a file. These can then be put into an Excel file or any other data presentation that you would like.